Hello, friends. Hi. Oh. I just got out of the dentist, and they told me that I'm perfect and beautiful and wonderful in every single way, and that I'm doing everything amazing, and that I don't need to worry about anything because I'm doing so great, and that my toothbrush is perfect and amazing, and that I'm just great. Also, my mom just called me, and she was like, I bought you a snack from the store. And I was like, oh, that's great. Like, what is it? She's like, it's dark chocolate. It doesn't have any milk. I was like, okay. Does it have peanuts? She's like, yeah, it's so good, haha. -ha. I was like, I'm allergic to peanuts. She's like, what the fuck? But anyway, I'm going inside right now to Sephora. I already called them and asked them if they have Hiram skincare line because I'm buying it all. Anyway, I'm extremely excited. Look at my little bagu mask. Cute. Should I get Chipotle? It's right next door. No. Self-care, no shits for us. Okie dokie, time to buy everything. Goodbye. Yay! Anything for you, Hiram. Secure the bag, Hiram. The woman in there was so nice to me. This same woman has been in this Sephora since I would come in here as a wee little child with my best friend Kaylee. Anyway, she asked me if I would like to apply for the Sephora credit card, and I was just like, sure. Why not? Because I don't have a credit card. Don't worry, guys. I'm working on my financial literacy. I have financial advisors now. Anyway, she literally kept complimenting my driver's license. She was like, this is the most beautiful driver's license I've ever seen in my entire life. I was like, are you kidding? What? It's a photo from when I was... 17. It was actually the day before I turned 17. And because of COVID, they just sent me my same photo. Do you think that's beautiful? Like, I mean, she is, but like, what? That's so nice of her. And then I had to redo the whole pro- What the heck, this car? Don't hit me. I'm making a video. Actually, maybe do hit me because good content. I made her like do the whole process of signing me up for the credit card twice because I forgot the last four pins of my social security number. Anyway, when you walk in, immediately Hiram skincare Hiram's beautiful face is right at the front of the store all of his products the woman inside Sephora was just like do you need any help I was like absolutely not I know what I'm here for and I just dumped it all into my bag let's see what I have in here she said that she gave me a gift wow oh my god so many gifts this looks like a little condom tell me like if this wasn't sticking out of someone's wallet you'd be like they f like actually no it's just Shiseido eye opening essence my total today was $131.44 for all of the products it did come out to 124 but there is a 6% PA tax come on Delaware we have the salicylic acid and sea kelp pore clearing and oil control serum I think this is more for oily skin, so I'm curious to see how that's gonna work on me mandelic acid and rice bran the Mandela effect in a bottle. Retinol and rainbow algae repair serum. I think that this one is like the most hyped up product, so I'm obviously excited. The packaging is really, really, really cute. Centella and green tea daily gel cleanser. This brings back really bad memories because I had the Centella and green tea sunscreen that I used for a while. And then it turns out that it wasn't actually SPF 50 like it said it was, so. Lastly, the Niacinamide and Maracuja Daily Barrier Support Moisturizer. Yay! Our packaging is made from carbon neutral, sugar cane, bioplastic, and are fully recyclable. No packaging solution is perfect, but we aim to have the least impact possible. On the back, it has like their selfless standard. So it says transparent, sustainable sourcing by our ingredients consciously to ensure no excess depletion of natural resources. Climate conscious, we're taking action to reduce our carbon emissions and investing in programs that remove of CO2 from the atmosphere. I love that. I can't wait to try this all. Okie dokie, I'm gonna drive home now and I'll do my skincare later. There's a Jeep next to me. I don't drive a Jeep. Good morning. Cleared out my whole like skincare, what is it called? My medicine cabinet. <laughs> I've literally cleared it completely out of all my other skincare stuff other than my makeup remover and my sunscreen. And I'm only going to be using Hiram skincare products for the next week because I want this to be as accurate as possible. I watched Hiram's video on like what order things are supposed to go in and I also did not those are my shorts that I slept in. I also did not realize until today that on the bottles, they have a little sun and a little moon saying which one, what time, 
it says what time of day you're supposed to use it. This retinol serum, it only has the moon on it because you're only supposed to use it at night. At night. If you didn't know, I'll give you the lowdown on my skin. I have dry skin. I don't know if it's gonna, ooh, ooh. My jaw looks nice. <laughs> I have dry skin. However, once I went to an esthetician and they said that I have combination skin, I guess more so in the summer, it is a little bit oilier, I guess. But I like the oil because I like a dewy look. So I'm not really so much acne prone anymore. I'm still using Curology. Not sponsored by Curology, but I still love Curology. However, for the sake of this video this week, I'm not going to be using them. I don't like the fact that you can see me back there. I literally look like I'm a little man in a little nightcap ready to go to bed. No scent. Wow. Shocker there, Hiram. Ooh. It's like a little jelly consistency. I like that for cleansers, honestly. Sudsy. It didn't do that thing where basically when your skin gets like so, so clean that it's like become squeaky. Does not do that. Now I'm going in with the salicylic acid and sea kelp pore clearing and oil control serum. Shake before use. Oh. That is liquid. This is all powered by the Inky List. I like the Inky List, especially their hyaluronic acid. I think that's one thing that I would have loved to see is like a hyaluronic acid of some sort because my skin loves that so much. Like I can't go a day without hyaluronic acid, but I guess I'm gonna have to. Oh, I was like, how am I gonna get three to five drops? But it's, it's like that. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, four, that's cool packaging. I've never seen something like that before. Don't get it in your mouth. <sighs> my face just feels like sticky now. I'm pretty good about pores, but for some reason, my little nose just tends to have clogged pores. The last thing is the Niacinamide and Maracuja Daily Barrier Support Moisturizer. I generally use a very, very, very thick moisturizer even during the day because, oh, interesting. Once again, with the little applicator, I just have never used a moisturizer like that. Kind of almost gel consistency. It smells like a vegetable like i said i have dry skin and when i wear my makeup i just hate when my skin will like look dry underneath makeup so i usually use something a bit thicker during the day but who knows maybe i'll like this better this has also made the whole like sticky feeling go away I can't put my finger on what it smells like it's not bad smells like a vegetable and I'm vegan. I like vegetables. I guess that's it for the morning routine. I know Hiram said that they're working on a sunscreen, so it's not out yet. So I'm gonna apply my own sunscreen. Hey, it's very glowy. Tell me, that's not a pretty glow. Okay, here's my skin before. I'm gonna do a little photo. Don't anticipate Hiram's line to be like helping me with like clearing acne or anything because I'm just not suffering with acne right now. If anything, I'd like to see how good I feel about my skin being moisturized and in any improvement my little pores. <gasps> look at me, I look like a little moisturized plump baby. I'll keep you guys posted, I'll keep you guys updated. I'll see you tonight unless something major drastic happens to my skin. I shed my skin, I evolve, I grow a new skin. Hiram turned me into a reptile. If that happens, I'll keep you guys updated. But if not, I'll see you tonight. Good night. Well, have a good day. Hi. She's a growing lady. She's gonna be a year and a month. Yeah. I'm a little exhausted. First, let's talk about my skin. If anything, I think I am a little less oily. I don't usually mind oil throughout the day because like I said, I like the shiny, dewy look. However, my forehead usually at this time is so oily that I, like when I go like this, I just have oil on my fingers <laughs> and I don't have that today. My eyebrow has fallen. Feeling good, but I'm ready to take off my makeup and literally get into bed. I don't know if I should watch a new episode of iCarly or if I should read a book. Uh. Oh, outfit, OOTD, you want one? Lonely Ghost sent me this hoodie because I got featured on their Instagram stories. Thank you so much, Lonely Ghost. I promise I won't be selling it on Depop. Target haul. I exclusively only wear these socks. Hello. <gasps> so cute they're just like my other ones i got a new journal it's brown and it reminds me of a little grandpa i needed a new journal to write in manifesting and everything under the full moon and then i decided to give these sharpie s gel pens a try because apparently it's like great and i can confirm they're pretty good yeah they're good i like them let's go let's go do my skincare I'm tired to read a book but too tired to watch by carly but I, I need to reclaim my night. I have to sabotage. I can't go to bed yet. I don't like the fact that I'm wearing a hoodie. However, I don't really want to get naked. <sighs> Headbands make my head itch. Also, whenever I... Ugh, the, ugh, it like almost like burns. Stop. 
before we do selfless by Hiram. I'm gonna be using the Then I Met You Living Cleansing Balm to remove all my makeup. I got this because Hiram said that he liked it. This is so hard for me to do at the end of every single night because like I want to go to bed but I just hate the process of doing all of this. So I just like lay in my bed and scroll on TikTok for hours and hours and hours instead of just getting ready for bed because I'm like, oh, I don't want to deal with my skincare. Even though I love my skincare routine, the, the process, like sometimes I just, I'm like, this removes all your sunscreen, your makeup, your sins. Now my hoodie's wet. Centella and green tea cleanser. If I'm being honest, I don't know what step comes next now. I can't see right now, my eyes are blurry. I'll, I'll look in a sec. Ah! So I'm gonna start off with the rainbow algae one. Come on. Oh, oh, I don't know how many drops that is. <laughs> Little tiny product, it's like very milky. Yay! And then of course, the moisturizer, which I personally liked, but I am like concerned how this is gonna be for the nighttime because like I said, this is a gel. What vegetable do you smell like? And that was my routine. Those are only three steps. Which, to be honest, is shorter than what I normally do. But, I feel clean. I feel good. Cute. <laughs> A week has flown by, baby. <laughs> it's actually been one week since I have tested out all of Hiram Skincare's products. I have not used literally anything else except my sunscreen that I use every day. We'll talk about that soon. Right now I have no makeup on my skin except for my eyebrows and my eyelashes because I like that. This is my skin right now. Also insert before and after pictures. Here are my honest thoughts and opinions on Hiram skincare. I know there's so many videos coming out right now of reviews of a skincare line, and I have not watched any of them because I want to form my own opinions. Well, there's also so many more professional and educated people on skincare who will talk about the ingredients and everything. I am not as well versed or educated, but this is a quick little video for those of you who may not also understand ingredients and want to know from someone with maybe a similar skin type how I felt about it. Also, Hiram told me that he watches my videos, which is the nicest thing in the entire world. Yeah. Hi Hiram, if you're watching this. Hiram and I have DM'd a few times and he has been nothing but kind to me and it just, you can tell that he is a beautiful human being. Nonetheless, that does not mean that you will not get an honest skincare review. I don't think that Hiram would have wanted me to like sit here and lie about my thoughts in order to eat his ass. Anyway, I need to stop saying that. Let's jump in right into my thoughts and opinions on the products. The Centella and Green Tea Cleanser. I would repurchase this. I really would. Since I have dry skin, I like to go in with a mild cleanser anyway because harsh cleansers never work for me. This reminds me a lot of the Crave Beauties cleanser. I would say that this is an even milder version of that. That one is still like sometimes a little bit too much for my skin. This is so gentle. It foams really, really nicely. I've never noticed my skin feeling like stripped or dry or anything and I, I really, really love this product and I would repurchase this. The Niacinamide and Maracujo Moisturizer. I did not think that I was gonna like this going into it because this is such a thinner moisturizer. As a dry little lady, I go in with a thick ass moisturizer morning and night, even when I probably shouldn't like in the summer months, but I still do. And after trying this, I'm like, all right, I, I'm gonna use this the day from now on. I feel like my makeup almost sits on better with this. I think that this is a perfect daytime moisturizer, especially in the warmer months, because it's just, it's like a gel consistency. I would repurchase this, however, I don't think I would use this at night anymore because I like a bit of a thicker cream at night, and this just didn't give me that moisture that I want throughout the night to like repair my skin. However, during the daytime, especially under sunscreen, this is so lightweight and nice. The salicylic acid and sea kelp pore clearing and oil control serum. I never used an oil controlling serum ever in my life before. I have not had a dry patch in quite a few months. However, I have noticed after using this on my chin where I used to get dry patches all the time, I have dry patches again. And even on the back, it says to use it on targeted areas. So from now on, me using up this bottle, I will probably just only use it on my forehead as well as my nose because those are the places where I need oil controlling the most. However, I will say that throughout the day, while I normally look like a Texas Roadhouse roll, the spots that I normally look very, very oily, I look less oily in. I think this product would be perfect for someone who is on the oilier side and does not really have that many dry patches or just wants to target some certain areas. However, Hiram does have oily skin, so I can see why this is a product that he would want to create, but for someone like me who just has dry skin and is 
a dry little lady. I, I don't see myself using this too much in the future, but definitely in the summer months, I will be continuing to use up this bottle. The Retinol and Rainbow Algae Repair Serum. I really like this product. I started using Retinol about six months ago. My skin is generally okay with it. I've definitely overdone it in the past with some certain products, but this is definitely the gentlest retinol ever. This feels like the perfect product for someone who's getting into retinol or hasn't really used it in the past before and wants to try something really gentle out that's not going to destroy their barrier. <laughs> I'm excited to keep using this and this is something that I'm going to incorporate in my everyday routine because I've tried some not good retinols in the past, so. <laughs> and lastly, the Mandelic Acid and Rice Brand Gentle Exfoliating Serum. I don't think I like this that much. And I'm kind of disappointed because I do really like exfoliating serums. This might seem counterintuitive considering what I said before about me having dry skin. However, I don't feel like this is strong enough. I have a few exfoliating serums that I do use. And I use once a week and they're pretty intense. But like I said, I only use them once a week and I feel like my skin is just transformed and I have definitely ruined my moisture barrier in the past by over exfoliating and I I went crazy. I know that I'm not exfoliating the best I could be when the skin around my nose is just filled with blackheads essentially. Sadly, I feel that way with this product. This product says to use in the PM after cleansing and you can use it every other evening. I wish that there was just a product that you could use once a week and was more intense because I, I miss that in my routine. And yes! That is it. <laughs> so, my overall thoughts on the brand. I like it. I will only be repurchasing a few of these products, like I said. I'm excited to see what products come out in the future. The sunscreen, Hiram. The sunscreen. I know you're working on it. I understand. But do you know how bad I needed it? <laughs> I went to the beach the other day and I applied sunscreen everywhere, so I thought. And I reapplied a lot, but I guess it just wasn't enough. It might be second degree burns. I've tried everything. I literally, I literally tried everything. It was so painful to even stand. I have a very high pain tolerance and I wish that I was exaggerating when I say that this was probably the worst pain I've ever had in my entire life. I would scream. I don't scream when I'm in pain. This was that bad. It's much better now. My ankles were just so swollen. I had little American Girl doll ankles. I had to buy hemorrhoid cream and it worked. If anyone was wondering how I was doing, I'm playing ultra maximum strength hemorrhoid cream because I have second degree burns. I don't know if they're second degree. I don't care to find out either. I don't care. I, it doesn't matter it, whether they're second degree or not. It doesn't matter. I still feel like I'm dying. I, I have no shame anymore. Putting your shoes on when you have hemorrhoid cream on, not good feeling. I know you guys have probably never experienced that feeling. Don't. It's been a journey. Hiram, I would love not only a face sunscreen, but a full body sunscreen. That would be amazing. I would also love like a super duper intense hyaluronic acid. If I could drink hyaluronic acid, I would. You might be able to. I'm not gonna, but if I could, I maybe would. I really love the inky list hyaluronic acid. So Hiram, if you and the inky list want to team up and make like this super duper ultra mega hyaluronic acid specially made for Nikki Nasty. I would love that. Another thing I would like to point out that I really like is the droppers on these. I think they're really, really cool and interesting. I haven't seen another skincare brand do this rather than adding a full pump or anything. I feel like if anything, that's very good for not creating more waste by creating all these pumps and everything. So I really like that this is just like one cohesive bottle. Congratulations to Hiram for creating awesome skincare. I know that this must have been a dream for you for so long. And that's where I'm gonna leave off my review here. Like I said, I just like to try out skincare products. Hiram has definitely helped me out a lot in my own skincare journey and has taught me a whole bunch of things that I never knew about my skin and ingredients wise, but that does not make me an expert by any means. If you want a more thorough review based off of the ingredients or some dermatologists who have made videos about a skincare and so that is worth a watch if that's something that you're interested in. Just my thoughts as a little Texas Roadhouse roll girl. Please leave this video a like if you liked it because it helps me out so much. Also leave a comment if you've tried out any of his skincare, what's your favorite product. Make sure that you subscribe if you want to be nasty, if not you're disgusting. Also make sure you have your bell notifications on so you know every single time I post or else you are gross like my sunburn all right if you want to follow me on my other social media like instagram twitter depop spotify it's just at nicole raffi and if you want to follow me on my tiktok is at nikki nasty remember i keep saying big things coming big things coming tomorrow july 2nd 11 11 a.m est be there be square i love you i'm so excited i'm gonna go now I excited for tomorrow goodbye love you <laughs>